now or someone else owns the wealth, the money, finances. When they die, where does money will go? Someone else. You understand that? So listen, those who understand that money, they have to produce more that I can spend in my life, that I want to spend in my life. Those who understand it. that money are not my actual. They were they trusted me only to multiply them or to multiply services, products, or goods or people. Those who understand, those who think like that, that they don't they, they should not collect money for themselves. That is why have you heard about Warren Bob? You know Warren Bob? The the Oracle, you know, Omaha Oracle. He what he did, he did he launched the initiative for 50 the rich 50 rich people. In the world said, let's give more than 50% of everything that we owe. Let's give it for charity purposes. Why? Because he understands the truth that he cannot take money with him. You know what the richest people in the, of this world, you know what they do? Do, do you think they, they collect money for their children? Most of them, they said to their children, I'm not going to give you money. Everything that you need, you have a need. So study, you know, you make this money. You don't need my money. Bill Gates and Melinda Gates, you know. Husband, wife. They don't need money. They don't need money, any money for their children. They said, You don't need those money. Most of us were so focused on money, money, cash. We need that to do something. That we, you know, we don't understand the truth. Unless you change, unless you remove your focus or remove your focus from money, on the things that I told you knowledge, justice, you know, uh, self saving and multiplication, and eternity. If you move your focus only then you can understand that you can do something. You know, secondly, if you ask him, there are some transcribers he in the beginning to be fulfilled. He started to produce services. He started to produce services. People who like his services, they started to recommend them to others. And when they started to recommend the others, they started to pay him money. Are you with me? Most of us will say, once again, well, I don't have money to watch my business. That's not true. I will put it to you. In less than two years, each of you, you can have at least one thousand dollars. If you have, if you're involved in one thousand dollars, will it help? Will it help you to watch something? It is something. Yes. So let me give you the practical example. Once again, I'm not. I would say I'm not the business expert in the world economy. I don't understand that. It's not, I understand it, but I don't operate in that level. I don't, I don't have me. I like to work with people one on one. Okay. So I'm going to give you the system, the system that will help you the, to build financial, uh, you know, your own wealth, your own wealth, your own finances. All right. So first year, in the first year, you need to do four <coughs> simple steps. Well, first year, year number one. Having an average income, you should have, you should do only four steps. Number one, save at least 10% of, of all your income. Save it means put aside don't you can't you don't have right to spend those money. Ten percent of your income. If it's twenty thousand, so every every single month you have to put aside how much? Two thousand naira. Two thousand naira. Put it aside. It's not too much. It's ten dollars only. But you know, if you put aside ten dollars, ten dollars in less than forty years, you will have in the savings at least, at least, at least about almost one million dollars. Less than 40 years. How old are you now? 52. How old will you be when you be uh, 40 years later? 52 years ago. 52 years ago. No, no. 40 years. Now you're 24, 22, after 40 years. 62. If I'll give you, or if someone will give you $1 million when you're 62, will you be happy? No. I am already. Yeah, but $1 million when you're 62, is it bad? No problem. It's good. Listen. Ten dollars only every month. After four years, you may have to collect. Okay, if I give one million dollars today, will you be happy? Okay, number two. Number two. At least fifty percent of your income has to be split on your budget. You know, different budgets. You know. Okay, priorities. There has to be at least 10 priorities in your life. If you want to launch business, so there has to be a business. I call it envelopes. Put in the envelope at least 50% of all your income. 50. 
So 50 plus 10% equals 60. So you are allowed to live on 40% of your income only. You may say that it's not possible, trust me, it is possible. And the product of it. And the product. Me and my family, we started to do, we started to do it eight years ago. Eight years ago, we started to do this. It was terribly hard. First year, I had, it was almost, you know, we had cravings. You know cravings? Dragging people, we had cravings. When there is no drug. So when you do things like that, your psychology is changing. First year is terrible. It's the most terrible year. But if you do, that will change your life. So number two, you have to sleep at least 50%, at least. Number three, don't spend more than you can, than you are allowed, than you have, than you have uh, you know, abilities to spend. Once again, don't spend more money than you can allow or than you allow yourself to spend. You know, many people that say, oh, that's you know, such nice shoes, I want to buy them. When can you buy those shoes? Yeah. Only when you have money for that. Only when you save enough money for that. If you have, you know, account, special account for cool, and you have this amount of money, buy those shoes. Trust me, by the time you collect the money, listen, the miracle will happen to you. You are not going to buy those shoes. You know why? Because you will say, ah, not now, not now. Sometimes, you know, me and my wife, me and my wife, we need to use some money. She says, I hate this money that I saved. Because listen, you save your money and you understand, then you start to understand the value of that money. The true value of that money. Number four, number four, decrease your expenses and increase your income. Decrease your expenses and increase your income. Decrease your expenses and increase your income. Very simple. Do you have expenses every month? You have expenses? Can you decrease them? Or they can. Very simple. Why don't you do that? You know what you have to do every single month? Every single month, for the first year especially, you have to see every single day thinking how to decrease your expenses. Decreasing your expenses. Decreasing your expenses. Decreasing your expenses every single time. Every single day. You have to search your know, you have to search the holes in your budget. And you have to lock them. And second thing, increase your expenses. Okay, if what if I'll propose you to make 59? 59. Will you agree to do something for 59? Well, it depends. It's it depends on what? How easy it is. Okay. Now, if I will give you as a present 50 naira, will you be happy? Yes. So where is the difference? The same 50 naira. You see, he wants to get it as a gift, but he doesn't want to do something for those 50 naira. <laughs> same 50 naira. Most of us, we pass by the possibilities because they're expensive. You know, I also had this kind of psychology in the past. I always wait for the deal for one million dollars. You know, always, you know, waiting for that miracle, miraculous deal for, you know, contract for one million dollars. Passing by possibilities to make that million dollars, you know, just by, you know, doing something for ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, five dollars, one dollar. Sometimes, just one dollar is also good. That because you can add it to your income. So decrease your expenses and increase your income. How you can do it? I mean, I love, for example, there is one very initiated gentleman. He, what he did? You know, he makes pictures. He's a photographer. He makes pictures, and he did probably I don't know, using Photoshop or what else. He did a calendar. Twenty fifteen calendar twenty fifteen. He put my picture. He comes to me and said, "Okay, let's go to five hundred dollars." And I'm happy, you know, I'm really happy that someone is doing things like that. Why? 500 naira, is it too much or not? It's not too much, but he increases his income. He uses any opportunity. For example, my son, on Sunday he goes to the church. He's 13 years old. He wants to join Oxford, he wants to be a lawyer in the future. Every Sunday, almost every Sunday, he goes to the church. Have you ever tried corn dogs? You know what is corn dog? Corn dog, that's a sausage wrap. You know, you have these, how do you call it? You have things like that. Sausage rolls, things like that. 
And he does, you know, he, he, uh, you know, he fries, and people, you know, who go to the church, they buy. He stands and he sells those things. Some people will say, ah, oh, does it make, you know, does he make much money? No, he doesn't make much money. But this is, even one dollar is good. It might be okay, that's better. You know, one dollar is good. Two dollars is better than nothing. Do it like that, my son, he started when he was eight years old. Now he has about two thousand dollars. Is it good? He's only thirteen. It's not enough for Oxford, but it's better than nothing. At least when he will be sixteen, he already thinks, he's already choosing the car he wants to buy. He does not he's not going to ask money from us. He will use his own money. Is it bad? When I ask him, you know, every time, you know, grandparents, you know, sometimes they give money. When they give money, he puts 10% aside, and the rest, he said, you want to buy candies? He said, never. I put them in the budget. He never, you know, he likes candies, he likes chocolate, but he never buys chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the psychology of a man, psychology of a boy. So first year, if you work like that, if you work like that, by the end of the first year, you already have some money you can decide. You know what? Let's count. 20,000 naira. 60% is about 16,000 naira. 16, yes? Or 10, no, 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 no sorry. 12,000 naira. 12,000 naira, you can decide. In one year, how much will it be? 144,000 in one year. Is it bad? Not bad. Just for start. Second year, what you need to do? You continue to do the first year plan with your budget. You get that? Okay. Number two, write the amount because you have, now you have twenty thousand naira amount only. Now determine what amount of money you need to achieve. For me, for example, I remember there was a moment when I was getting like about hundred dollars. And then next step was for the second year, I went to myself and said, okay, I want to make one thousand dollars. Out of one hundred, I said, I want to make one thousand. One thousand. It's very simple. By the way, you know, it's very simple. Who knows some people who do one thousand dollar a month? Do you know people like that? One thousand. Do you know some people who do whose income is monthly income is two hundred thousand naira? Do you know that? You know that. So, is it possible to make one thousand naira? Okay, if they do, is it possible? Yes or no? Yes. If someone is doing, someone else is doing, is it possible? Possible. The key is, what do you need to do? Number two, put that amount of money. Number three, write down ten different ways how you can make one thousand dollars. Let's say one thousand. Okay? How you can make it? Out of twenty thousand thousand naira, two hundred naira amount. Write down ten different ways. How you can do it. Are there many opportunities? Yes, there are many opportunities, trust me. I remember the time when I was spending every single day researching the Google, looking for the opportunities, looking for the ways how you can do it. For example, uh, is Nigeria qualified for green card lottery? Not qualified. Yes? It's qualified. Okay. How many of you know that to you know to be elected for green card lottery, you need to fill the form and it has to be right, you know, filled the right way. Do you know about it? Okay. When I noticed that in my country, for example, do, what I did, I put the announcement on the internet, on the internet, social media, that I help you for ten dollars just to fill your form. I read everything about how to do this. I read everything about it. I said ten dollars. Is it too much? No. So I had about 10 clients, I made $100, just in one month. Is it too much? No, it's not too much, but it's just an additional $100, right now. Listen, you need to find different ways how you can do that. Different ways, different ways.